Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux, welcome, bienvenido, bienvenue, assalamu alaikum, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a big mess test on the rug in my kitchen. It's normally over by the back door but I put it in the centre of the room. Um, I've done a unboxing of the original one that I bought, then there was a problem with it and they sent out a new one. So I've done the unboxing of this one and a quick demonstration on the hard floors, but I haven't actually done a proper demonstration on the on rugs because it also cleans rugs as well as hard floors. So I'm going to do a big mess test on this rug on the floor. I have my SIBO here because I'm going to use this to thoroughly vacuum it, then add the mess to it of different things that I have around the house and things that you would drop on your, on your floor or on a rug. And then we will do a demonstration on how to use it and how to clean it. So I'm just going to vacuum the rug in front of me. There goes Zach. Uh, rack, uh, vacuum the rug in front of me using my Sebo X 1.1. That will make sure that it is completely and utterly free of any dust and dirt to start off with. And then I'll add the dirt to it. So I'll try and make it as, it's, you know, it's not going to be scientific or anything, but just to see how it copes on this very, very short pile of rubber-backed um, mat that lots of people have um, in their home. Now, first off, I will say that this rug is kind of big. Um, as you can see and it doesn't have any issues with it being sucked up with the um, the suction if you understand what I mean there's one mat exactly like this by the back door and that is a smaller mat and whenever I use this on there it has this a lot of suction on there and it sucks the mat up and cuts the power off so it's not very good for using on this on these small rubber backed mats because um, the suction on it will lift it up because it's not stuck down obviously there's no air getting through the rug because it's rubber backed then it just sticks to it and it, it doesn't wash it very well but on these bigger rugs that are heavier and um, you know they're weighty enough that they don't move around it works really really well on it I will say that um, also as well other rugs as well which are hessian backed or you know that, that don't have a rubber back into them there's not an issue at all it's just the small rubber backed mats that have a bit of a problem so anyway so i'm going to do my demonstration on this video i'm going to vacuum up first all the mess and we'll take it from there Okay, that's the rug all nice and clean and vacuumed. Now let's get some mess. And here we have the big mess. We have got old tea bags with the paper bags still there. We've got a little bit of Domino sauce, tomatoes, ketchup, 
salad cream, chocolate powder, sugar, flour, um, some potato chips, some crisps. Oh, what else have we got in here? There's a bit of everything that you might possibly find. Uh, a crushed up chocolate bar. I'll tell you what I haven't put in, some rice, I'm gonna put some rice in it now. But yeah, as you can see, this is one hell of a mess. One big sticky mess. Okay, I did put some rice on as well and some couscous. And just to make it a little bit more realistic, you have to excuse my sock. But we will just rub it in a little bit, I think. Just to make it a bit more realistic. Okay, so there we go. So we have let me wipe my foot. everything in there all squished up. I'm going to give it 20 minutes and uh, we're going to see what it does. Okay, so here's my little cross wave. I bought the first one in January, like I said, but there was an issue and they replaced it. So this was the beginning of February, I think, somewhere in February where I got this sent to me. So I use it a good couple of times a week, and then once a week, I take it apart and clean it all. This is the same brush roll that I had with it that I've been using. I'm not gonna put a brand new brush roll in because you don't always have major messes on the floor when you've got a brand new brush roll in. So I wanna give it as true a test as possible. I've cleaned out, this is nice and clean, as you can see. And the bottle here. So I'm going to fill this up with the solution. Now I'm using carpet shampoo on this. I'm using some Kirby one um, because I don't have any other brand. I don't have the brand, like the Bissell one. I normally use this if I'm doing rugs or I just use a little squirt of... Um, flash liquid if I'm just doing the hard floors and it works perfectly fine for me. So let's get this bottle filled up. Okay so the water's coming through quite warm so I'm going to, don't put hot water in, just warm water. Now I filled it up to almost a formula mark because this Kirby stuff does not need much um, liquid in there, it just needs a little bit. So I'm just gonna measure it out. So. There we go. the lid on. I'm just going to gently make sure the liquid solution is all mixed together and I'm going to pop it now in the back of the machine. Okay so I've taken the cord off the cord hook and plugged it in. I'm just going to insert the bottle into the back and click it in and now we are ready to go. So let's see what we can do with this mess. Okay so to use it on the hard mare on the um, rugs so all you need to do is push the machine back, push the rug button and then hold the trigger underneath for around about 10 seconds to prime it and the priming makes sure that there's liquid going through to the brush roll. So I'm gonna pop you on pause a second while I get the tripod set up. So for this I'm gonna prime the machine, switch it on, prime the machine and just do one pass through the center forward and back.
Okay, let's take you off the tripod and take a closer look. Okay, so it's picked up all the large debris that it passed. It didn't scatter anything. I did miss that little bit of tomato at the end, but it picked up all the larger pieces of debris. And as you can see, it's still stained because of the tea and everything, So, and, and there was water on there as well. So that was just one pass, and that is a very bad squished in mess. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back and forth over the same patch a few times, just going back and forth to see how we can get on with these things. Okay, there's some blockage there, so I'm just going to empty it. Okay, so I cleared out the container of the large pieces of debris, and I'm going to continue now with the washing. So there's a marked improvement, there's some muck stuck in there. Uh, so there's a marked improvement in this area, but I can see here and here where the brush rolls rub the most, that's where it's cleaned it out. So to get a true thing of it, I'd have to completely clean the whole of the rug and then see where we go, because it is definitely cleaner in these parts here but there's definitely a line down the centre and towards the edges where you can clearly see the stain. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean the rest of the rug. I may stop in between to empty the tank, but um, I will continue to pick up the rest of the mess. <laughs> um, there was no trickery with this video, there was no, you know, I have to edit it, but there's no trickery, and that looks, I mean, I can see, looking at the camera, I can see a couple of stains, possibly the ketchup stains, but considering what was on it, and I emptied it once, no, I haven't emptied it yet. When I finished that video, I still haven't emptied it. It's still got all the bits in there, which we'll have a look at now. But that is pretty bloody impressive, I have to say. It's, it's incredible. It's fantastic. It's picked up the tea. It's picked up the milk, the water, the juice, the mayonnaise, the ketchup, the, the rice, everything that I threw on it. I went through the cupboards just looking for anything and squirting stuff from out of the fridge just to put on there. Like I said, I can see some stains which would need going over, but this is not truly a dedicated, you know, carpet uh, washer. It's just for rugs. 
So using it, I use it twice a week on this rug because it's normally positioned closer to the back door. So I clean this twice a week and um, it only takes an hour or two to dry and um, it keeps it really, really clean. I've never tortured it like I have today with, the, um, with that test. But uh, yeah, I'm very, very impressed with that. That is really good. I've never put it through such a, a test on, um, on, on uh, rugs before with so much mess. And um, I'm really impressed. So what we're gonna do now is have a look and see what's inside. Okay, yep, that's pretty disgusting what I picked up on it. But it's all contained within the tank and not on the floor. So let's give it a rinse out. Go. that's that rinsed out I will give her a more thorough cleaning but yes cleaned out all the rubbish I'll probably have to get the um, scrubby brush to do my sink again so I'm just gonna rinse out the head and the brush roll Okay, so I've cleaned all the parts to it. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna reassemble it. I'm gonna put some more water in there and we're gonna give it another go over the rug just to see if I can get rid of any of the other stains.
Okay, so that's what we've picked up on the second go. Still a lot of muck that was left in the carpet and some ingrained bits, as you can see. So, there we go, time to clean it all away. I'm gonna empty that and I'm gonna finish off doing the hard floor or the laminate flooring. But this rug is now clean, apart from the stain there and a little bit of a stain there, which I can see is tomato sauce, but that did a blooming good job, I think, for, uh, for the Bissell Crosswave. That was definitely a success. So I can recommend it on rugs. I mean, this was in a bit of an extreme test. Your rugs aren't going to get that dirty, but if you keep them maintained regularly, then they'll stay as clean as this one always has. So, you know, by going over it quickly twice a week, once a week, it'll definitely keep this rug clean and tidy and away from, you know, it's no bad smells, no nothing at all. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that bit of a mess test. I don't particularly like doing dusty mess tests, but this one was pretty not as messy. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe, like, comment, let me know what you think. And until I see you again very soon for the next video, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.